Okay, you asked numerous questions. Some of them bear minimum overlap, okay? I could discuss each one for 45 minutes at a time, all right? So I'm gonna do my best to stay consolidated. Your first question is, should you take one NBME during the middle of your prep or only toward the end? Which ones are recommended? As I talked about in some of my other clips, uh, you need to do 25 through 30. You need to memorize those because those are the online exams, okay? Those are mandatory. Should you take one during the middle or toward the end? I do not recommend wasting 25 through 30, any of those online forms uh, during the middle of your preparation. Okay, by middle, I'm assuming you mean many months out from the exam, at least six months out. I do not recommend you wasting those exams. You can do one of the forms 20 through 24 that are offline, and you can, there's some bootleg scales in terms of uh, gauging your score on Reddit, etc. as I've heard uh, through other students, okay? But you can find uh, you can find out how many you got wrong and then sort of gauge your score through scales on Reddit. That's what I've heard. If you want to gauge your score far out from the exam, okay? You can do 20, one of the forms 20 through 24 as a score prediction. Now, in terms of using NVMEs toward the end of your prep rather than early, we want you memorizing forms 20 through 30 late I would say definitely within the final couple of months, we want you gearing toward memorizing those questions, spending a lot of time on those, okay? Screenshotting your incorrects from 20 through 30 into a Word document, saving as a PDF. You're gonna develop a master PDF file that you'll review in your final days. If you're just passing or barely passing, you're probably getting 50 questions wrong per form. 20 through 30 forms, that's 11 forms, so that's 550 questions of incorrects in a master PDF file. If you're scoring pretty high around 260, you're probably getting eight to 10 questions wrong per form, not as fastidious in order to go through that PDF during your final days of incorrects. Um, but the point is we want you memorizing your incorrects from forms 20 through 30. It should be done in the final couple of months before your step one. And we also want you maxing out, memorizing the corrects from forms 20 through 30. 25 through 30 take priority, but 20 through 24, the corrects should be memorized. Two reasons for this. Number one, the NBME exams are the US Simile. This isn't a debate, okay? Some students come out of the exam, they say the exam was more like UWorld than it was the NBME. It's not fucking true, okay? The real US Simile is gonna look like UWorld, same colors, calculator lab values, but we have the NBME questions superimposed in the UWorld interface. It's not a debate. The questions are the NBME. They're the same, okay? So we want you memorizing forms 20 through 30 because that in turn will help you calibrate your thinking style to doing the NBME questions late, okay? You don't want to be focusing on UWorld leading up to your exam because the style of questions is different and you're going to end up overthinking things, okay? So focus on NBME questions late. They are the real deal. That was the first point. The second point is there's repeats all across the NBME forms, and that will also lead to repeats on your real deal, okay? This also is not a debate. If you do, for example, form NBME, I'm giving you an example, form six, okay? Ancient history offline, you're gonna see one of the questions on ADH versus Manitol is repeated on NBME 27, I believe it is. Maybe form 26, but I think it's 27. That's one example. The repeats are everywhere. Now, if you do forms, let's say 20 through 30, and you do a very cursory review, you say, okay, these rank cracks, got it, understand, all right, that's pretty much why I got that wrong. You don't assiduously hammer down that info, okay? You're not going to realize that on your real US simile, you did in fact get repeats. I've had students get questions wrong on the newer NBME exams, that we have literally reviewed together like weeks earlier that were on different forms, okay? Some offline forms as well. And I'm much more familiar with the questions, okay? This is what I do. So I know if something is repeated more than likely. However, there are certain questions that stand out in my mind in particular, but I'm making a point that unless you're hardcore memorizing the questions, you're not gonna be realizing that things repeat. If you it's karmic. If you spend the time memorizing forms 20 through 30, you're going to get some repeats on your real deal. Okay? It's going to happen. Maybe five, maybe seven. I had, I sat the step one 10 years ago, and I had 
two repeats on my exam. And, and I sat when NBME 3 was online. NBME 3 was online at the time. And uh, there were barely any forms. And I had two repeats on my real deal and one repeat image with a different vignette. Okay, so that's how you're generally going to prepare in terms of uh, should you be doing NBMEs early versus late. I would not waste 25 through 30 in the middle of your preparation. Okay, you can do one of the forms 20 through 24 if you insist. Uh, QBank self-assessments as well. They they can also be done at various time frames. It really doesn't matter. I don't really care when you do QBank self-assessments because they're not the real US assembly. But I would not want you doing, for instance, UWorld self-assessment in the final few days. That's actually a surprise to many students. They think, uh, I've, I've heard some students uh, think that UWorld self-assessment is somehow like the pinnacle of assessment in terms of what's accurate for their exam. It's not fucking true because UWorld self-assessment is not the real USMLE. Okay, so these self-assessment forms from QBank are going to have varying degrees of accuracy because students will sit them close to their exam. But you have to bear in mind, this isn't a debate. The real USMLE is the NBMEs. So... If you take form, let's say, form 29, form 26 in the final four days before your exam, and you sit UWorld self-assessment one and two, and your scores are kind of at different places, it's the NBME that matters. I don't give a fuck about UWorld self-assessments because they're not the real USMLE. I should repeat, I'm not, I, I'm, I am agnostic to which resources are supposedly ideal. I don't care, okay? It's just a matter of what's going to get your score up and... The USMLE is the NBMEs. So that's what we need to focus on late. Okay. You asked many other questions, as I said. This could be a very long clip. Okay. So I'll divide this, this YouTube clip up into others. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, please subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.